Hey guys, it's Takuma here, and I'm uh, bringing you a uh, first of a series of videos I'll be doing regularly on this channel. Um, every so often, I'll rent a game, play it, upload a video or two, and send it back. So you'll be seeing a bunch of content of games that may actually be quite bad, and some games which will hopefully be very good. As you can see here, I'm playing a bit of Golden Eye Reloaded, which was a game I've been trying, meaning to try out for quite some time. Um, I'm playing a bit of online multiplayer here, and I'm playing a game mode called Golden Gun. It's basically a free-for-all deathmatch game mode with the slight twist of there is a golden gun. There's only one in the map, and only one player can have it at a time. To get it off someone, you're going to have to kill them. It's only got one bullet. You can only... It has one bullet with infinite in reserve. And one shot will kill, no matter where. It's an insta-give gun for any of you who have played Unreal Tournament or Quake. Or, I don't know, possibly some other game that's mildly similar. Anyway, here it is. I've picked it up now. It's a big square thing, which is gold. Um, the sights on it are practically non-existent. There's just that little bar on the top, and that's it. Line on top of the bar, and that's all you've got. Um, as for the map I'm playing on, I'm not sure. Nope, miss, and get shotgun. Actually, that wasn't a shotgun, that was a rifle. Rifles in this game very powerful. In fact, every gun in this game very powerful. It's a bit odd. It's James Bond mixed with Call of Duty, and I'm not sure if I like it. There are some things about this game I quite like, and there are other things about this game which really infuriate me. Um, you know, things I like is it does, some in some places, feel James Bondy. Um, there's a mission in the campaign in the nightclub, and that feels that's really, really well done. And then there are other missions which just feel like I'm playing Call of Duty with some different arms on it, and somehow not technically as good. There are some major technical issues with this game. One of which is the way lag affects the multiplayer. If there's a bad connection on the multiplayer, you jump around and do crazy stuff all over the place, and it's really, really not good. I somehow feel this game wasn't given a big enough budget to be that good. I don't think Activision really did a good job of this. I think this game could have been a lot better. That said, still a good game. I certainly, so far, would recommend trying it, but I'm not sure it's actually worth buying this game new certainly isn't in terms of it doesn't have any reason why you would buy it new over used, apart from the fact that it's new. Anyway, the weapon I'm using right now is a Sigmus um, submachine gun. It's pr practically the only weapon I've used in the multiplayer because it just suits my style. I'm always a submachine gun type person and um, this one in particular is pretty good. Here's a good example of the level, interesting level design of this game. The levels in this game always try to make use of multiple layers in a 3D space, so they always try to use high and high points and low points and underfloor routes and over the top routes and always to the advan try to get some sort of tactical advantage. It certainly makes um, the single player quite interesting. Um, just so you know, I did n I have never played the original N64 version of the game. I never owned a Nintendo 64. I only ever knew one person who did as a child, and I n saw them very rarely. And I don't think he had this game, so... I've never even touched the original. This is probably my... Th fourth the aim of Golden Gun I ever played, maybe third. Um, this is my first win. I don't actually win on score, I do only win on the time limit, but I did have a significant lead at that point. Anyway, I have the Golden Gun here again. And yeah, another bit of lag, which is quite irritating, because it can have some very strange effects. Now I think here I actually do get some kills with it. Yeah, I think I get shot from behind here and I die like that. It always plays that same sound and does the blood thing every time you die, which can be really irritating in my opinion. And there it is again. It's advertised to everyone, and there we are. I'm trying to work out where I'm being shot from. I realize it's that guy under there. Miss. Have to reload. Bam. 
There you go. Great thing about this game mode with this, when you have the golden gun, A, it shows your golden gun kills in the scoreboard, and second, or B, or... You, um, actually gain five kills for every kill you get with this gun. And, bam, golden gun kill. Um, there's another one. Miss. It's an accurate gun, I believe. I'm not sure, it might actually be quite inaccurate. Because I believe this gun is actually modeled on a small, concealable self-defense weapon. Very secret agent. And here's a really stupid death from a guy down there. I think he's up there, and no, he's down there. One thing you have to get used to with the minimap of this game is if an arrow is on, if an icon has an arrow on it, then it's telling you if the thing that it's trying to depict is on a layer above or below you. So if there's an up arrow, it's somewhere above you. If it's down arrow, it's somewhere below you. And as you can see, the hut is counts as part of this level, but there are other parts that count. It, it's kind of on it, so which counts as the same level. Anyway, there I am getting what they call back in the game. After a string of annoying deaths, I finally start picking up my game again. And, um... This bit is quite a good example of what I find to be a trouble with this game, is the frame rate can go down quite dramatically in places, and I find that really, really irritating. It's really hard to play. I feel... If I've... Oh, excuse me. I haven't already said this before. That... A gun, nice pistol, kill. Pistol is your friend in this game, and kill from behind, got killed from behind again. Very irritating. Um, this game suffers from dramatic frame rate drops, which is pretty annoying, and I think it was due to a very low budget for this game. And I know that guy's the golden gun. He has a ye yellow icon instead of a red one. And that tells you he has the golden gun. I'm trying to find my way under this hut, and I find it. And I'm not sure if I actually get any kills here with the golden gun. I think I get just one kill, or maybe not. Nope, I get killed here. Nope, there's one kill. Headshot, and miss. And I tried to hit him with it. Nope, nope, and I was killed. The golden gun is obviously made sure that it's a very big thing, and it tells you all about it as soon as the game starts. It's very important in this game mode. It's very difficult to win this game mode without actually using the golden gun because it counts as five times the kills and it is actually very easy to use as long as you don't mess up. Anyway, um, just before this video ends in the last couple of minutes, um, things I like about this game, yes, it's, it does in places feel like a very James Bond game. However, in other places it feels like it's some sort of Call of Duty game and I don't understand why. The original game was very much its own thing and this very much isn't. I don't understand why they went with some... Cl oh, this is a stupid bit of lag. Why am I on that ladder? Seriously, I just sort of glitch over to the ladder because of some lag and don't blame my connection. My PS3 is hardwired all the way up to a fiber connection, so... You know, I have a very good connection on my end, so some other end somewhere doesn't have a great connection. And there I go, dying again. As for more videos from this game, I hope to make one or two, maybe show off a couple of other game modes. Uh, maybe not. As for should you get this game? My final verdict is yet to be decided. I will probably make a note of it somewhere, or maybe not. Anyway, I think I just get a couple more kills. No, I think it's just the one more kill. Yep, this is the last kill I get of the game. And then the game's about to wrap up in the next 20 seconds or so. As I crawl under that hut, trying to avoid this guy. And I don't take him out, I get my kill stolen and hit that guy in the head. Nope, there we go, there we go. Nope, he got shot too. Nope, he's not dead. There he is. Right, and killed again. 
Anyway, only a few seconds left of this game, and I'm. I don't do. Gr I haven't done great in this game. I died a lot of times, but I did win by a fair margin. And there we go. I win. Get to level five. And get just the simple well done. Sixteen kills, thirteen deaths. Uh, most kills, most pistol kills, most machine gun kills, and most kills down the site. Not bad. And uh, anyway. That's game, everyone. See you next time.